All right, it's time to hold the girl. Time for the girl to be held. Hey, what's up? Welcome back for another video. Thank you for being here. Let's get started. All right, now this is one that I have been waiting for for entirely too long. Rina Sawayama, one of my absolute faves. Her debut album was a pop classic, if you ask me. And today I'm finally sitting down to listen to her second album, Hold the Girl. And I'm already listening to this almost two days post-release, so we're not gonna waste any time. This album is 13 tracks long. Out of those 13 tracks, I've only heard two of them so far. This Hell. Don't get me started on this hell. Already went 10 times platinum in my library. Solidified her as a main pop girl for me. And also Catch Me In The Air. So we'll be skipping those two songs, but everything else will be brand new to me. This is my reaction to Hold The Girl by Rina Sawayama, and we're gonna get started right now. All right, this is track number one, Minor Feelings. Telling me the Not a childhood trauma song. In the rain. Oh, and a transition. Oh! Okay, so a quick little childhood trauma opener. Fun, we always love that. She said a lot of things in here. A lot was said just now. And I feel like a lot of it will be um, explained and unpacked as we continue. So let's proceed. All right, this is track number two, the title track, Hold the Girl. First of all, production. Second of all, hold the girl. Hold the girl as in like hold the inner child or like protect your childhood self. Ever since she announced the name of the album, I was, I thought it was such an interesting name and I've been like confused by it ever since. It's starting to make sense and it's starting to hurt. <laughs> Miss Rena. Miss Rena! So this is gonna be about kind of honoring and finding your way back to your past self, your childhood self. It's also gonna be about making absolute bangers. Cause what the f is going on in this production? Uh uh. All right, it's all making sense. It's all clicking and it's all very epic. The build of this song, she's really sick for that. I love this song. I now love this song as the title track. And I also love how early on in the album it is kind of establishing the mission, what we're setting out to do. Now I feel like I'm on some sort of epic quest to rediscover and connect with my inner innocence. Let's go, we ride. All right, tracks number three and four were the two songs I knew prior. So we're moving on to track number five, Forgiveness. I already love how much guitar is present in the album. Hold the girl, obviously this hell. And now in this song, I love guitar and pop music. I love guitar in general. I love how present it is so far. Not exactly sure who this one is aimed at, but thematically it makes sense for it to be sort of like uh, an inner struggle and her kind of talking to herself. That's kind of how I'm taking this so far. <laughs> Hey! 
And now we're back to this. Miss Ma'am, aside from reconnecting with our past self, I think her other mission here was to bring Bridges back to pop music. <laughs> because what the actual f these change-ups, these structural games in the third quarter of the songs, thank you so much. Oh, I'm sensing a transition coming. Yeah, forgiveness. Mmm, she's a big one. She's a big ol' song. I really, really love this song lyrically more than anything. I think this is a song that could be applied to, you know, many different contexts, many different situations. I like songs that feel universally relatable. Also, the unexpected but deeply appreciated bridge on this song was seriously excellent. What's really being established here between her first album, her EPs, and the songs that I've heard so far today, she is always gonna give you production. She's just one of those artists who can make a song so unexpected and so interesting and so unique. And that's one thing that I've really come to appreciate about her more than anything, in addition to all of her other amazing qualities. So, all right, this is track number six, Holy Till You Let Me Go. Now I want you to take a second and think about what I just said. One thing she's gonna give you is the most random, unexpected song you've ever heard <laughs> and make it work. What is this? What's going on? <laughs> also, rhyming evil with cathedral was oddly pleasing to me. I'm just gonna put that out there. This beat is wild. More rain, oh my god. It's been raining for like six songs now. Holy, holy f This song kind of feels like the more serious explanation of this hell. I don't know if I'm really hearing it correctly. It's kind of like, if I'm this dark, evil, nasty person that you claim that I am, it's because you made me that way. The beat is also so wild, and I don't know why I kept picturing this, but you know in the first Shrek movie where they get Fiona from the tower and then they escape, and there's like dramatic music playing and the dragon is there and spitting fire and stuff? It was kind of giving that. It was kind of giving Escape the Dragon's Lair. The epic quest continues. We are fighting off our demons, overcoming obstacles. <laughs> the journey is hard, but it'll be worth it. Some other cliche sh The song was so wild. I need to dive a little deeper into the lyrics. I was a little bit distracted by everything that was happening to me, around me, but yeah. <laughs> All right, this is track number seven, Your Age. I do feel like it's subtly being made clear to me that beyond, or I guess sort of like a sub point of self-acceptance is like coming to terms with her sexuality, being accepting of that part of herself. And this is telling me <laughs> there were some people in her life that were not so great about it. Hmm. You know when you were younger and people were like, it's because you're young, you'll understand when you're older. You're too young to understand, you'll get it when you're older. Well that's interesting, cause now I'm older. I'm the age that you were when you said that, and I don't get it. <laughs> hmm. I'm not 100% sure what she's talking about, but if it's about what I think it's about, if she's saying what I think she's saying, then f those people, man. And I love the way that she's speaking on it now and the way that she's reflecting on what was clearly traumatic experiences from when she was younger. Some people just have f 
fucked up views on life and on other people's lives. Age is not a factor. I hate to break it to you. You're just a bigot. <laughs> Choke. I'll be looking into this one more post this video to verify what she's really speaking on. Either way though, kick ass song. All right, this is track number eight, Imagining. Girl, what are you talking about? I'm imagining, so tell me what the f is up. I know I do this to myself, it's damaging. She's playing tricks on herself. Huh, gay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be partying or crying to this song. What's going on? <laughs> Like, it really bangs, but she's saying she's, like, losing her mind. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Imagining what? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Miss Sawayama, please. One thing that I do want to say is I absolutely love how much her productions really reflect the lyrics of the songs. Like this song talked all about short circuiting, vanishing, losing your mind, losing your sanity. And the production very much mirrored all of that. Made me feel like that's exactly what was happening to me. Whoever she's working with, as far as producers are concerned, they really know how to help capture her vision. And that is so very important. That being said, this song made me feel like I was on acid. Literally what is going on? Like in a good way, it was such a cool song, but I'm shaken to my core and I don't really know how to feel. I'm questioning some things. I'm a little confused. I like that. I feel like with a lot of Rena's music, you have to give it multiple listens to like really fully grasp what's happening to you. <laughs> She's such a detailed artist. I feel like this is a good example of that. All right, this is track number nine, Frankenstein. album has felt so hyper, which isn't like good or bad, it's just an observation, but I feel like the entire time I've been sitting here listening to this, it's just like, like it's non-stop. We're going, going, going. Like who needs five hour energy? I could just listen to this. But also lyrically, a lot of it is very emotional and very intense and very like retrospective. That's fair. Five, six. Oh, oh, oh. You see? You see what I mean? Hyper. Hyper as f Also, I know this is like not the point, but what a great Halloween song. Thank God Riverdale's over. I just know they would have been covering this in one of those weird musical episodes. This song is so exhilarating to me. <laughs> I feel like this song and Imagining, they're kind of like a package deal. I just love the energy of this song. I really love the melody and the chorus of this song. I wonder what compelled her to write this song because it is very like sad. Like if you're feeling this way about yourself, definitely not a good thing. However, the song itself, I feel like is quite unique. unique. And I really like this one. It might be the Halloween energy, but whatever. All right, this is track number 10, Hurricanes. Should she make a rock album? Ah, hear me out. My guitars are back. Okay, but on a real note, this song is stunning, really. I'm very into this. Epic. 
Oh, this one has such like a Y2K energy. Does it not? It has such a Michelle Branch, Allie and AJ, female pop rock of the early 2000s energy that I'm obsessed with that is my genre for real and she just killed it not gonna lie to you the entire album could have sounded like this and I would have been nothing but grateful <laughs> I love this song I love this sound from her I literally love everything about hurricanes I love that it's something different I love the writing hurricanes you are V special all right this is track number 11 send my love to John What? Hold on. Cue Google search because because this is so specific that I don't want to listen to the rest of it without actually knowing what I'm learning about. Send my love to John. The song is from the perspective of an immigrant mother. Yes, I gathered that. Apologizing to her queer son for not accepting him because of her traditional religious beliefs. Rena's friend's boyfriend, which after many years of his mom not accepting his queerness, ended a phone call with Send My Love to John. <laughs> okay, fine, everything's fine. But instead I hid behind the Bible. We both had to leave our mothers to get the things we want. So I'd oh. love to see you happy. I'm right where you belong. So Okay, that was really good, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. F this kind of sh obviously just like hurts my heart. Oh, I don't feel like I really want to say a lot about this song. I just want to say thank you to her for writing it. Thank you to her for including it. And if you're watching this and this was anything like your personal experience, I'm sorry. I love you. This is a really, really important song and I just want to leave it at that. All right, this is track number 12, Phantom. <laughs> Okay, so we're not gonna have any fun in this album. <laughs> None. We're literally going to be in our feels the entire time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> but also, I think this song is so good so far. <laughs> but I am sick, okay? <laughs> rest because this is the second to last song and we're still struggling to, to find her the girl that we're trying we've been trying to hold her <laughs> for so many songs now we're still reaching out for her we still didn't get there like where's the happy ending come on <laughs> Phantom. This feels like a very last ditch effort, you know, a very desperate attempt to connect with that inner child, a very guitar heavy attempt to connect with that inner child. Sort of like the second coming of Hold the Girl. Melodically, this is for sure one of my favorite ones so far. I really, really love this song. All right, this is track number 13, the last track on this album, To Be Alive. Thank God! <sighs> I was like, how the f are we gonna wrap this up? How is she gonna end this? I normally always love to end with a sad song, but this time I was like praying for a happy ending and she's giving it to me. We are so blessed. <laughs> this is so satisfying. 
Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. To be alive. <sighs> I'm so glad that this is how the album ended, how the story ended. I feel like I can't really talk about this song without talking about the album as a whole, so let's just get into like final thoughts. Since we have reached the conclusion of the album, I am stuck on a couple of things. Number one, how truly emotional this album was. So, so different from her first album. But number two, just the overall artistry that is displayed here. This really feels like a completed story. Like we established the theme and the mission at the very, very beginning. We went through all of this and then we reached a conclusion. And I absolutely love that. Whether these songs are for you or they're not, I think that this album as a whole was very essential to her growth as an artist, her legacy as an artist, and her story. Getting to the last song felt weirdly rewarding. It was like, we made it. Mission accomplished. We did it, guys. We did it, Joe. <laughs> but I just love how deep and how raw it all really was. I can see some people maybe not vibing with it as much after her first album because there were so many pop hits on that album and this one doesn't really fit into that box but to each their own I guess I have a lot of love and respect for this album already. I'm gonna go ahead and slide a ranking of the album right over here for you so you can see how I felt about everything after my first listen. As always please drop your every and any thought in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about these songs, the album as a whole. I cannot wait to give this more listens and really really dive into this world that she created but that is just about gonna wrap it up for this video. I want to thank you so so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you next time.